There are some things that are so far beyond politics that it is astounding when people don't get it. And the answer is always what's on this t-shirt, when we stand together. This t-shirt was actually made to support a family that we told you about yesterday. And this morning, um, I spoke to the family again to get details, and they are with us now. Um, Lori uh, Janczewski and her daughter Stephanie are with us. Um, to give us an update on the horrible story out of Michigan where a teacher molested um, uh, Lori's son. The pedophile is now in jail for 15 years, but the teachers of the school supported the pedophile during the trial. And last night there was a big meeting to see are they going to allow those teachers with such horrible judgment to allow them to watch over the students that are still there and teach at the same school where he worked. With me now is Lori and her daughter Stephanie. Hi guys, how are you? Good, how are you? Um, let me start with you, Stephanie. You spoke um, last night, if I'm not mistaken, about your, um, about your brother. Can you tell me what happened to your family um, that the teachers dismissed and said your, fa your family didn't have any problems at all because of this molestation and your brother was perfectly adjusted to it? My childhood was very terrible with my brother. We never got along and he's, he's damaged. You cannot say after a kid has gotten hurt like this that he's not damaged. He, right now he's doing okay. We are keeping in touch. We are closer than ever now, but the childhood was just terrible. I never had a brother. Um, you know, you're going to the school where this happened um, and it, um, his wife, the molester's wife, who stuck by his side, she's also a teacher there. This is one of the sickest stories I've ever heard. She's also a teacher there and these other teachers are all, who all stood. Are any of them your teachers? Um, last year I was a sophomore and I had Mrs. Erickson as an English teacher. So wait, wait, no. That I had is, her for the whole school year. That's the, that's the woman whose husband molested and told um, uh, your brother that if he tells anyone, your mom will lose her job and your father was unemployed at the time. Yes. Okay. And what was that like to sit in her classroom? It was really uncomfortable, but I had to keep thinking I was there just to get my job done, to get English done. I was just a normal student. I wanted to keep myself like that. Um, there was no problems between her and I, just a little bit of evil eyes, but all I was there is to get my job done, and that's what I kept telling myself. So, Lori, um, you're, um, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure you don't have a problem with freedom of speech, and they have a right to um, uh, say what they want. However, it is, uh, to me, it shows their judgment is off if they think that somebody could find, at the time, the guy started grooming your 10-year-old son, and then um, uh, molesting him when he was 13, for them to think that this was a one-time thing, for them to stand behind him um, and, and to have such bad judgment, it seems to me that they're not interested in protecting um, the children when they'll give somebody like this the benefit of the doubt. It always comes down to the dollars and by not letting these teachers go, where they're showing us as a community that they're putting a price tag on our children. And the dollars are because... I would rather the, the children go... To I'm sorry, the, the dollars are because they, the teachers have said, if you fire me, we'll sue and we'll bankrupt the, um, we'll bankrupt the county. Exactly. Okay. Um, so, I mean, you have to protect the children. Why, why risk losing children or more children getting hurt instead of letting these teachers go? Get, if they sue, they sue. But we can pull together as a community and take care of that. You cannot go back and take care of something like this that has happened because you can't fix it. All we can do is prevent it from happening to another child. I don't want this to happen to anybody else's child. None of them. 
There is no family that deserves to live through the hell we've lived through the last year since we've found out. Lori and Stephanie, I, um, your story won't leave me alone. I thought about it all day yesterday. We prayed on it as a family, and I, um, I will continue to do that, and we'll continue to follow this story. We'll have more information for you, I believe, on radio tomorrow and some options that people can do. I, I, just, I find this story absolutely reprehensible. Um, it is one of the worst stories I have heard in a long, long time because it shows that common sense is absolutely dead. Know that you have the support of uh, the Blaze and whatever we can do to help and however we can continue to cover this, we will. You're not alone. We know what happens when we all stand together.